So by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to make these 3D AI product based websites for your particular product. Like, I don't know if you sell mango juice, it can be for mango juice. And yeah, this is how to make this kind of scroll based website. And uh, as you can see, it also has a lot of details and stuff. And then we can do it for multiple flavors. This is for Dutch chocolate. So it's one of that. And then this is for Ruby pomegranate. So yeah. Uh, so today I'll tell you how to make this exact website. First, we'll be building it on Google Anti-Gravity and then we'll also host it on a temporary URL using Netlify. So again, it's going to be a complete value pack video. And I'm going to keep this as short and as concise as, po as possible because of respect your time. Let's get right into it. So first things first is here is the prompt pack which you'll need. Again, link's going to be in the description. So just grab it from there. So again, we have the prompt for nano banana visuals. Then we have the prompt to one shot the whole website. And then we have the prompt to create these visuals. Because these movements are slightly more complex with, you know, the mango popping up and all the kind of good stuff. So again, for that, uh, this is how the setup would be. So first things first is we'll make the image. So let's start with grabbing a mango drink from, from the web. So mango drink. Let's find any drink here. Um, let's look for images. Let's go for Maza. So let's quickly grab the image. Click on save image. Go to whisk real quick. So for this particular campaign, we'll be using Google Whisk. This is my uh, Whisk board, as you could see. And I've done all the, the, these are all my generations. As you can see, let's open a new Whisk board. So let's go to click on new project. And then let's quickly drag this as the subject to Whisk. And then let's go to this prompt pack. And then let's grab the very first prompt, which is under prompts for Nano Banana. Grab the drink prompt. Let's copy this real quick, paste it here, and also add to the bottom that the bottle or the product needs to be in the center of the image. Click on shoot. Also, you don't have to use VO3 in case you don't have VO3 because we do not, we are not generating audio in our case. We are only generating video or visuals, which is why I, you can also use, if you want, you can also use free pick which I have done for, for the project. So you can also use free pick spaces if you want to, because we're just generating the visuals and nothing special. So go into spaces and generate it. Let's actually, this is, well, this is pretty damn good. I like it. Uh, this would be a bit too complex for AI to animate. So let's just get a few more results out of this. So as you could see, some of these visuals are looking absolutely insane. I would like to go with this particular visual just because it kind of, matches with what I was thinking of the product. Now, the next thing you need to do is generate a blank image. So let's delete this image real quick and I need to generate a blank. So let's paste this here and I'll say remove all the elements from the image. Only keep the background. Let's click on shoot. And uh, yeah, we're going to get the only background image. This would be used as a start frame and the the image that we just selected would be used as a, the, as the end frame. So let's grab this real quick, click on save and let's download this image as well. Once this is done, let's quickly go to either flow. You can go to flow, but my flow credits are over. So I'll go to free pick. So you can also use flow. The same prompt would apply. Let's just quickly drag in the images. Let's quickly also go and copy the prompt for the video visuals. So these are the video visuals. Copy the prompt real quick. Go go back to free pick. Paste this here. And then let's use a video model. For this purpose, I'll be using Kling 2.5. And let's keep it to two generations. And uh, 1080p, 10 seconds. So this would be the end frame. Let's keep this as the end frame. Let's keep this as a start frame. And let's keep this prompt as the prompt. You can also go to the prompt, uh, cinematic assembly, start with a clean, high quality, vibrant orange gra gradient background, smoothly, smoothly, a dynamic vortex of thick, glossy mango, purest worlds. So again, this is the complete direction, camera direction on how the output should be. And we'll be getting the output in a while. Until the generation is in the queue, stop. And let's set up our Google anti-gravity. So in here, Press command shift N to get your to get your folder and then let's name this as 
Maza. So once you open Google Anti Gravity, click on Open Fold. Let's go to our desktop and select Maza, and click on Open. Once you have opened the folder, let's go to Free Pick real quick and check if the generation is done. Again, the generation looks absolutely gorgeous, I'd say. So yeah, the slow mo is just looking insane. So it's okay. Yeah, I love it. So we can we can go ahead with this. Let's click on export. Click on save. Now once this is done, let's go to ease GIF and convert this ease GIF video to image. And let's convert this into a set of images which we'll be using from for the scrolling animation. Now, if you want to use this video directly, you can do that as well by hosting it on an online platform, but for our use case, but in our case, we are going to do a scrolling setup similar to what Apple does and other tech products and companies do in which you scroll down and the frames start moving forward. And that's kind of what we're looking at. So this allows us to generate a much more professional setup instead of, you know, a, a video that's playing on loop, if that makes sense. So again, once you are in on ease GIF, select for select 25 frames as the FPS. And then just click on convert to JPG. As you could see, the frames are being generated here. And let's go to the very bottom and let's click on download frames as zip. Once done, let's name it as mango juice. Click on save. Now just simply go and grab the website one shot. Copy this real quick. Go to the mango juice zip. Unzip the file. Move that file into the Masa folder. Then let's go back to anti gravity and then let's paste the whole prompt. The asset for mango juice is in the folder. Used. Then click on shoot. And yeah, as you could see, we have just sent through the prompt and now we are just awaiting on the output. This is how you kind of do it. Now, the next thing which you need to do is to host this on Netlify or a permanent hosting provider. So until the video, until the website is being built out, let's actually, I'll actually show you how to set this up on Netlify or on your own domain so that you can do it for your product or for your particular business. So to do that, let's actually go to anti-gravity. So I've also deployed this exact website on a Netlify domain. This is a temporary Netlify domain, but as you can see, Again, this is how it works and it's just working this the same way as it is supposed to work. It is working the same way as it is supposed to work on a local host. And as you could see, we have Dutch chocolate. So it takes a while to load. And as you could see, blending fresh, fresh ingredients. So this is what you have for now. I'll tell you how to host your website, which you built on anti-gravity on Netlify. It's super simple. And this is going to be a static hosting, which there's two ways to host it. Either you push this onto GitHub and then whatever changes you do in anti-gravity, they get pushed onto GitHub and your GitHub and domains are directly linked. So any changes that goes onto GitHub is reflected onto your domain. That's one way of doing this, but we're not doing that because that's slightly more complex. Let's look for the easier setup, which is just extracting the whole project file and putting it onto Netlify and it just gives us a temporary URL. So how do we do that? Well, to do that, let's actually go to uh, anti-gravity. And let's start a new terminal. So once you're inside anti-gravity, just simply type npm run build. To be able to get a simple static file of the whole setup, you need to tell you need to tell anti-gravity that you want to host this on a temporary Netlify URL or domain. So after that, it does some changes to the code, and then you can simply just type npm run build, and you will get this folder, which is called as out. Now this can be named anything. This can be named as app completed, anything like that. All you simply have to do is grab this, go to Netlify, go to Netlify, click on add a new project and click on deploy manually. Once you do this, just grab this out folder and just click on upload. This would upload all the files for the static and you will get a temporary Netlify deployed URL. As you can see, it's doing it. It says the C cascaron. Okay. Just click on this and uh, yeah, <laughs> this is a website. So it's currently loading all the videos and stuff, but yeah, this is the website that we have. So again, I hope this was a valuable tutorial. So this is how you kind of build these insanely good product, product based 3d websites, which 
cam which usually go for a few thousand dollars and yeah this is all done completely by ai under 10 minutes also thanks for watching i'll see you next one